everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I've got a few things to show you. First of all is the foam tape that I like to use. Quite a few people always ask me which one it is because it always tears so well. I kind of get like three different ones. This one here is from Chaplin's, which is just an independent kind of um, homeware store down near me. But I've also purchased from the pound shop, which would be like your dollar stores, things like that. Um, where else? The range, they do it as well. But I always get the cheap one. I always get the one that's like a pound. It is very sticky, so not everybody actually likes that and they want to be able to cut it with scissors so you can get those nice thick, like the 3M ones. But this is great for me. It's speedy and I've just had it literally from as early as I can remember. So it's just the one I always get. I also use, these are the pads that you see me use all the time. So I've got more of these than I do the rolls, but you get all of those. And then there's the roll. So if I just stick it on there and I just tear it off. And that's what I use. So it's just the cheapest one. But I guess my cheap one might be very different to your cheap version. It could be, you know, not very good and it might not tear. It's it's not a brand. I mean, it's come from obviously a factory. This one is A Star Stationery. Just the cheap and cheerful ones, nothing fancy. And it works really well for me. Next, I went back to my favourite charity shop and they had some more stuff in there craft bin so I saw this stamp here which is an older stamps by Chloe it was only a pound it has a really pretty set of butterflies and I don't have anything like this so it's a butterfly or well, it's butterflies within a butterfly but I love that I've got all the different sizes and they're going to be easy to cut so there's like two looks like there's two designs like these three and then I guess these ones I don't know I haven't stamped them out yet. I'm just going to add them with my butterflies. And then um, when I decide to do a butterfly project, I'll be reminded because I'll see this one there. So then I'll give it a go. But yeah, for a pound. And it's from, I think it says here, oh, 2014. So yeah, it's an older one, but still lovely. And it's photopolymer, I would imagine. Yeah, it is. Nice, thick, sticky stamps. So that was a bargain. And then I picked up these ones here, both a pound each. Now, I don't know who these were originally by. If anybody knows, let me know. And because I do like to, you know, label them when I put them into my little wallets, when I store them away. But I just thought they're just a little bit more masculine. But also, I love all of these kind of hinges to add with my gift bags. So you've got like the little kind of pull. I, it possibly could be like a, a door knock, you know, knocker for a door. But um, I thought it looked like the little rings that I added onto the pull-out drawers on my last gift bag but things like this I just think if you embossed that onto the card and then scored it through the middle to fold it that would look like the hinge on the side of a bag or something so yeah you might see that featuring in the future handbag series that I'm currently working through and then there's this one here as well but I love this stamp it says number and then it's blank of blank so if you're doing mini albums and things like that, I thought that would be a nice addition. And instead of made by, it says handmade by and then hand stamped by. So I just thought they were both a little bit different. And then you've got the letterpress and the roller in the ink. And this one here says created by, which I thought was nice as well. I like that it's framed. Pretty ornate scissors. Again, they'd look lovely embossed in gold. So yeah, and then you've got a tray there, but those were both a pound each. So I thought I'm having those. Then there was these three packs of card. Now they're all the same in each pack. So there are eight sheets of this one. And then on the reverse is this here. I'll take them all out actually. So here's the first one. So you can see that lovely effect. Now these are great to take photos of your cards. So if you're doing any flat lay photos, these are lovely backgrounds, but also for doing any kind of like Christmas crates and uh, storage boxes and things like that nearer the time, I'll be using these, but they're all the same. So there's eight sheets in there and then you've got that lovely kind of it's almost like chipped paint on the wall it's got a little bit of script at the bottom there but these are by studio light so i know it's a good brand so i've got those ones and this one's called industrial 2.0 so there's that one and then there's this one so you can see that design there it's the metal what's that pattern and then you've got that lovely orange thing you know, again they all work together but how nice does that look so and then there's this one here again great for taking photos of your cards it's like a cool background love all that chipped paint again it's all that industrial 2.0 and then on the reverse is the brick which is again another really nice background 
So I just thought they were a bargain. They were a pound each. Oh no, sorry, those were two pound each. So a little bit more, but I know that's still good. Really nice quality. They smell amazing. And uh, they're brand new. You know, they've never been. They all were in their packaging still and everything. So I'll be using those. You'll probably see them in some backgrounds when I'm taking photos of my projects. Then there was all these bits just loose in the little baskets. So they've got this one here, which is by Craftbox. And this is fibre paste. Now what I thought this is going to be good for is Christmas cards when I want to have like faux snow so I'll be interested to see how that works it says it's a dimensional paste perfect for 3d sculpting and adding crisp texture to a project keeps the shape given contains fibers water-based protect from frost closed jar when not in use so you'll be able to add ink to that and color it but it's not even been opened so I know that should be fine because sometimes when you buy medium second hand you don't know how old they possibly were when they were opened so this one was still completely sealed so that should be good to go and I'm not going to open that until I am um, until I want to start using it but yeah www.craftbox.co.uk and then there was these four these are special effects rust paints I just thought they're going to be nice when I do do some of my scrapbook layouts, but also when I do some of those 3D projects that I want to distress, then I thought these would be nice. Again, they were 50p, so it's always good to have these bits. And when I do some of my um, canvases, mixed media canvases, these are going to be nice. You've got rust gold, there is rust oxide, uh, rust penny and rust brown. And they are the Cosmic Shimmer. They've all been opened, but it's a paint. Paints are usually, you know, you're okay with those. Um, I took the lids off, you know, the, the screw lid, and they were all fine inside. They're still running and everything. So, but yeah, 50p each. I thought that was a bargain. Then there was also this, which was 50p, and it's the Dawn Bibby Creations Glue. I used to have the larger jars of this. It's very similar to Art Glitter Glue and Cosmic Shimmer Acrylic. It's got a quick grab. Um, I just thought 50p, it's just a handy one for just travelling and stuff. So, And the bottles are always handy to keep anyway. Then this one, which is a copper embossing powder. This is by Ranger. Now, I do have a copper one, but I've got more of a goldy copper. This one is a brown copper. So again, it's going to work really nicely with those papers and those stamps that I showed you. So it's just, you know, you, your embossing powders, it's always good to collect them. And if you can find them for a pound, then it's a bargain. Again, embossing powders, you do have to be careful with. This has been used and opened. Some embossing powders, I think I've got some and they do react differently the older they get. So if it doesn't work, it's, you know, it's not the end of the world, but I think it's going to be okay. And then I got these. Now I, I'm using embellishments a lot and I'm going more to the ones that don't have the adhesive on them. So they're just like the ones that come on, you know, the big kind of um, strips, but these ones are just all loose. So I'm going to add them to the others because I've got some smaller sizes of these. But again, oh, <laughs> these were cheap for the amount that you've got. And then I'll put something else in those little pots because they're quite handy as well. And then lastly, I picked up these wonderful stamps from the latest Daisy May Designs release. They're just so much fun. As soon as I saw them, it just reminded me of me and my friends and kind of the, the funny antics that we've got up to in the past. And I've decided that I'm going to make a special birthday card using each one for each of my friends. And I started off with this one. So I've already used this one and there'll be a tutorial coming up very soon. You've got the two crazy ladies on the space hoppers. And then you've got some really nice sentiments there. Just hopping by to say hi, hopping mad at, hop till you drop. Hopping you have a lovely day. They're just really lovely images there. Claire is just an amazing illustrator. This one here, love it. This is time to relax. You've got the two ladies there at the spa. So one's soaking her feet. The other one's playing around with some lemons, or orange slices or cucumber slices. Actually, they would be. Um, I love the straw in the bottle of champagne or Prosecco. And it says you don't look a day over fabulous. It's time to relax and pamper yourself. And these are really nice size stamps as well. So they're a real focal point on your cards. And then this one here is yoga class. Twin that frown upside down. Have you hugged yourself today? Life is all about balance. You can. Hum. And then all the sounds. I'm not going to do the rest of that. Just, yeah, brilliant. And then this one is possibly my favourite because I've got some very funny, lovely memories of me and my friends over the years in hot tubs. Um, so I need to decide which one of them gets this one because we were all there at the same time with this particular funny story. But this is called Gin O'Clock. If you have a cra if you have crazy friends, you have everything. Let the fun be gin. Friends who play together stay together. 
and then keep your gin up. And I just think they're lovely. They, the women look great. I love their expressions. Love all the little bubbles, glasses on their head and the glasses in their hands. You've got the towel there and everything. Really, really lovely. This one here is this really funny. So this is Cycling Granny. Brilliant. Can't wait to colour these. And then there's this one here. This is at the salon. And one of my friends in the group, she's a hairdresser. The Gossip Girls, let's catch up. What happens in the salon stays in the salon. Let's have a gossip. Life is too short to have boring hair. I love that she's got her champagne in her hand. Looks like she's showing off her bling ring there. <laughs> and then the other one's got her magazine, but they're having a good old chit chat together. And then, so this one here is Born to Shop and it's got this lovely big image here. You've got the two ladies, you know, driving home after a very successful day of shopping. And then you've got her scarf blowing there. Again, it's going to be really nice to colour that car. Just need to decide what colour. And then you've got sentiments born to shop, but forced to work. Shop till you drop. Shopping is cheaper than therapy. I've been shopping all my life and still have nothing to wear. And that's so true. But they're just really lovely. I think this is all the ones in the release. So there, there are the seven here. Um, I couldn't see any other ones. I mean, Claire has a huge collection of stamps. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you will see that I've, you know, I've got quite a few of them. I've used, you know, a lot of them over the years. They're classics to me. These are things that would never go out of fashion. So it's, I like to collect them. Um, even if I don't use them straight away, I know that I will, these ones I never get rid of. So yeah, just thought I would share those ones with you because I know there's a lot of Daisy May fans that follow me as well. So it's now another week and I've picked up some more craft supplies, so I thought I'd pop them into this video. So I was recently at B&M and I noticed these packs of cardstock. Now they had all the primary colours. They had silver and gold mirrored card, which I've already got from there before. And I've shared that in some of the what did I get. But the whites stood out to me. It's a 210 GSM, so it's it's the lighter end for our 3D projects, but you can still use that weight. I tend to use more of the 220 up. But for card blanks, anything above 180 really you're fine with. So I thought this is going to be good for mats and layers. But also it's really smooth, which surprised me because I thought usually when you buy the kids department kind of cardstock, it's it's a bit fluffy. It's got a grain to it and, you know, it's, it's for kids to use. But this is actually surprisingly smooth. Now, I haven't tested it with my coloured pencils yet, but I think it's going to work really well. So I'll just take it out of the plastic there. I mean, there's not much I can really show you. <laughs> it's just white card, but it's £2 from B&M. 210 GSM, you get 32 sheets. So it's an, it, And sometimes I, I look at the weights and then I feel it and I think that feels lighter. But this does. It's got a nice, you can kind of hear it's got that cardstock feel to it. But it's a really smooth cardstock. So I'm excited to use this one because at the moment I always use my 300 GSM for stamping because it's just the one that I've just kind of found myself always going to. But I love that card and that's the craft store and I've got some more card from there in a moment which I'll show you. But for this, for also doing prep for my shows and samples for £2 for 32 sheets, I think is a steal. So if you've got a B&M near you, I promise I don't think you're going to be disappointed with this at all because like I said it's really smooth how it's going to hold with alcohol markers is another question I think it's going to bleed I don't think it's going to hold the color I mean give it a go but if you're using your colored pencils I think this is going to be really nice again I've not tried it with the blending solution yet but I will start using this in some of my live craft alongs so you'll see my kind of um, thoughts on it a bit more then so I picked up I just thought anyway even if it doesn't work brilliantly with the pencils and you know coloring mediums which i'm pretty sure it will but it's going to be perfect for mats and layers so that's you know it's, it's certainly not going to get wasted but i'm hoping it's going to be really good for coloring and then i picked up the black now this one's a different kind of mix this feels like craft card so i'm not sure if you can see it it's it's got a tooth to it it has a grain but again it's black so this is going to be more for my 3d projects and and for mats and layers but it does it feels like it's almost like it's dyed craft card but it's not i mean this is i'll rip this piece this is yeah it's color core so it's it's not been um you know it's, it's completely dyed yeah two pound i think that's a steal 32 sheets the whole pad of that feels much thicker than the 32 pad 
of the white. In fact, I could sit them together and you can really see the difference. It's almost like this is, see that it's exactly 32 sheets, but you can see how much thicker the black is compared to the white. Hopefully that's picking up there. So yeah, I think it's always good to share bargain cardstock. That's good, especially if you're just starting up. Um, you know, two pounds, you can't go wrong. And uh, yeah, hopefully you'll be able to get hold of this. I think this is new. I've never seen this Hobby World kind of and this cardstock all packed like this in mine. And I've been to mine for quite a while now. Um, so whether this is a new thing, and there seemed to be a lot more cardstock in the, the B&M by me, whereas before there was very little. So it'd be good if they do keep this because I'll certainly stock up. I also went back to the charity shop. <laughs> from where I've already showed you stuff and there was more. Um, so I picked up this organza ribbon, just a really pretty brand new roll, it's 50p. And it's got, doesn't say how many meters on that one, but I imagine I take mine all off the spools, but yeah, there you go, there's loads on there. So just a really pretty color. So hopefully I'll get that on some um, summer, spring, summer kind of makes. Then there was this one here which is the Wonderful Day Triple Banner Stamps, 50p, Tonic Studio. You've got your dies, you've got two dies there, your outline and your detail die. And this one says, have a wonderful day. And this one says, many congratulations to you. And you can see how they look there. And there's, there's the two dies. So just a generic kind of saying, so that's gonna work on, on many projects and on the fronts of cards. And then I picked up some more of the flower foam but this is from the craft box so in here you get your stamens you get these lovely faceted flat back pearls i love that one it's like a matte olive green really different that's just got the craft wire and then so that's the shape i guess i mean i'm not going to do what this is for i've got my dyes and i'll make my own flowers um, I've got a bit of a love-hate re relationship with the flower foam, but <laughs> I do want to use it and do more with it. So these are big sheets and what you do with this. And I've shared it in one tutorial where I did the, it's like a border, it was using some bright rosa dies, but you fold it up, um, again, depending on the size of the die, but now you could put your dies on there and it will cut through all the leaves because this is green. It will cut through all of those layers because it's so thin. I think this is like 0.5 mil, whereas your fun foam is like two mil. And you can stretch this, you can apply heat to it, all that kind of stuff. But I've got here the green, kind of burgundy colour, cobalt blue, nice purple, and then the cream. And then this one was just two pounds because it didn't have the extras. And this is the sorbet set. So you've got the lighter blue, the same purple. Yeah, then you've got the lighter pieces there. You've got the cream. That's like an off-white. And then the blue. Oh, and then it repeats. So I'm going to I'm gonna cut these down to A4. In fact, I'll probably just cut them in half because I think the, the width is A4. It's just the length. That I've, they won't go into any of my storage. So I'm going to trim those down. But flower foam is expensive. It's, you know, unless you can get good deals or bundle offers can be quite pricey so I thought that was quite a bargain so I picked that up I was getting some storage from biology and I picked up these and I think I'm going to use them on my handbag gift bags they're going to look really nice on like the handles and these look great colored with your alcohol markers or even heat embossed you just cover it with your Versamark and then sprinkle the embossing powder on and then just heat set it so I just thought they were going to look kind of like the hardware really for the the gift bags so 99p get quite a few in there they did have a circular one, but the hole was quite thin. Whereas that, I think I can, you know, with a, a large needle, I can feed the ribbon through. So they should work quite nicely. And then I took advantage of the recent 21% off uh, site-wide on Craft Stash, and it was to kind of celebrate the longest day of the year. So I stocked up on, I think now, if I need to go back through my swatch, but these are the last four of the Distress Oxide colours that I need. And then I, I've got the whole set. So I was really pleased to get these because I've gone on many times and they're always sold out. So these were all in stock, so I've grabbed them. So I've got the Salvage Patina, Bundled Sage, Black Soot and Antique Linen. So I'm going to get those swatched and added to the rest. I picked up some more of the red tape. I, To be honest, I don't really mind the brand, but I, I like the... You get more on the smaller rolls. So, for example, here, 
they've got that small white inner ring. That's what you want to look for because this is what you want the most of is the red tape. The bigger rings, it, they look like a bigger roll. They can be a bit deceiving. So always check how much they're offering. These ones here, you're getting 15 meters. And this is the six millimeter. And this one here is the three millimeter. And these are the ones that you see me, you know, use a lot. And I like that they have the little kind of carrier sheet there to keep them in because they're very sticky either side but that lasts a long time so although they are more I think these are three pound a roll whereas you could probably get three of the other rolls which should then work out to be the same kind of meterage so just check how much you're getting on the rolls don't always think the ones with the bigger white ring because I used to get those I used to get them from every craft's a pound which has now changed to every craft's a bargain I think and it was still a bargain to a degree, but actually it worked out that I would get more and it was slightly cheaper when you buy these ones. So just look around, just check how much you're getting on the rolls. But I've just stocked up on the, the red tape. Then I've picked up this white dye ink. Now I've been looking for a really good white ink for black and to stamp onto black card and to craft card. So I did um, ask the question on one of my lives and this one came up. And I saw that Craft Stash had it. So I'm going to do a quick little test. I'm going to use one of these stamps here. So this is the Have a Wonderful Day. Let's pop that on there. I would probably use a stamping platform with this as well to get a nice opaque, intense white colour. But so far, so good. That looks... Because usually what happens is they go, they just absorb into the cardstock and they go quite translucent. Needs a few more layers, but that's not bad. It's better than I thought. So I think if I use my stamping platform, I could probably get a, a you know a more opaque white colour. But I don't think that's too bad. It's better than the one I've had, so that's a good sign. But there's also another one. I can't remember the name of it. I've wrote it down somewhere, and I'm looking for that one. I'm going to buy that as well because I want to get these now in time for Christmas. Because whenever you look for any kind of white or Christmas colours, you can never get them around Christmas time. So it's always best to get them before. But it's not seeping in, and that's dry, so that's not rubbing at all. And this is on a smooth black cardstock. So there you go. So that is the Hero Arts, and it's the it's just called White Hero Hues. Then I got some more of the glitter jewels. So this one here I was from Craft Stash and you can see that it's your holographic hexagons and I've used that on a few cards and I love them. They're really nice and they're completely flat. This one here, these are clear. Again, I'm thinking Christmas, but I just loved that you can pop them over your cards. They're not going to take away from whatever's behind. It's all going to come through, but you're just going to get that lovely shine when you move the card. Aren't they gorgeous? So, so pretty. But again, I'm thinking snow. You get absolutely tons in there as well. So again, going to last me a long time. But those ones are called Iced Flakes or Iced Flake. And these ones are Holographic Hexagon. Yeah, really, really nice. So I picked up those. I picked up this Creative Stamping magazine. I've seen a lot of people using this one. And um, I totally forgot to buy it myself. And so when I was taking advantage of the discount, I thought, right, see what magazines are there. And then I was reminded of this one. So this is issue. Oh, <laughs> there's me on the front. I didn't even know. That's quite funny. Um, This is issue 96. And I've seen a lot of people use this with my swing dies. And it was Blonde Cards and Crafts. Simone, bless her, she made some beautiful cards and she had the hammock with the palm trees swinging. So she had the palm tree, tree palm trees either side and then the hammock swinging and it looked lovely. And I was like, I need to get that one. Love this one here, the decking. You've got a little picnic basket. Love the lady reading there. You've got the sandcastles there, bucket and spade, the shells, the tree, the bench. And then these are nice. We do not remember days, we remember moments. Memories are meant to be made, not forgotten. And then the happy retirement. Remember when. Love this. Really nice. And then crafty individuals have done these. I've got nothing like this at all. And I think they're lovely. And do you know this, this to me, this scene, I think would look really nice on a sympathy card for someone who's lost their dog. I don't know what that's when I saw that. I, it screamed more of a sympathy card. Or thinking of you, you know, if the, if the family's maybe going through a tough time. That's obviously a great one for sisters or best friends. But that's what I saw when I, I um, you know, saw the uh, the inspiration for these. So I'm going to sit down with my cuppa and, um, and have a look. And yeah, 
win £750 worth of crafting goodies <laughs> from May to Surprise. And there's the amazing Claire Rowland with her collection, which I now have, which I'm super pleased with because I love it. Okay, so that's that one. And then just finishing off, I've got, talking of Daisy May, I've been wanting this one for ages. I've got my own background papers. I love background papers. It just takes out so much of the hard work for you because it's, it's like an instant scene created. And these are just going to go so well with with lots of my collections and the dies that I've got. So these are the Village Green Scenery paper pads. Isn't that gorgeous? I can imagine some of my bee stamps and dies with this one. And then I've got my woodland animals. They're going to look cute. The bunnies and stuff with this as the background. So you've got a... It's almost like this is the original and then there's like a watermark. So this would be nice as the insert inside the card because you could easily write your message over that. So, and then again, you've got the richer and then you've got that slightly faded one of the one with the tree. And then I think it repeats then. Yeah, that's the same. So this one you get six designs. Oh, so they're classing one, two, three, four, five. Oh, so it's okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> to me, that's more three designs, but in two different kind of looks, I guess. But they're classing each one as a different design. Anyway, I'm I'm pleased with them. They're both really nice. So eight by eight, which is always a good size because it covers most of your card sizes. And then I picked up this cardstock in the 12 by 12. So this is the Craft UK. So this is the 300 GSM white card that you always see me use is by this company. I buy the block of 100 and you can usually get it for around 6 99 So I got the Craft in 12 by 12, which I don't have any Craft in 12 by 12, only the A4. More of the black. This is lovely because it's smooth. Again, great for 3D projects. And then the white in the 12 by 12 250 gsm 225 gsm and 280 gsm so just again i'm kind of stocking up preparing for new releases and christmas <laughs> so i hope you've enjoyed this what did i get video i will try and link these kind of bits and pieces in the description box below and i'll link to claire's collection as well so you can check that out if you want to as always thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed then click on my face which will be popping up now and then you can subscribe to the channel and if you hit the notification bell you'll be notified every time i upload a new video and also if you want to carry on watching some more tutorials i'll pop some nice card designs in now i'll pop actually some daisy may ones so you can see some of her other kind of designs and like i said she's still got lots of stuff on there so go check it out thanks for watching bye